Hi, welcome. It's our 10th night of Advent, and this story is about a gift for Gramps. I don't know if you guys are thinking about making Christmas gifts for everybody, but you know, sometimes a homemade gift is the best one because it comes from the heart and people will keep them a long time. So if you're thinking about what you can give somebody, a lot of times the adults in your life would appreciate something that you made yourself. Listen to our story of a gift for Gramps. What are you going to give Gramps for Christmas? Luella asked her brother as she stared at her Christmas list. That's just what I was going to ask you, replied Johnny. I'm stumped. The two children were sitting alone at the kitchen table. Their half-finished Christmas lifts lay before them. Gramps always gets socks and handkerchiefs. Handkerchiefs and socks, continued Johnny. He has enough to last another hundred years. I know, said Luella, and we can't get him his sports things because his legs are so full of rheumatism. Poor Gramps just sits in his chair by the window. I wish we could think of something that would be fun for him every day and help him forget his pain. So they thought and they thought. Luella closed her eyes and Johnny stared out the window at the snowy yard. As he watched, a quick little bird flew to the window sill looked into the room and then flew away. Suddenly Johnny jumped up from his chair in great excitement. I've got it, he shouted. Got what? asked Luella. Why, the present for Gramps. It's perfect and the whole family could be in on it. On Christmas morning when Gramps had hobbled to his favorite chair by the bay window, Johnny said, Gramps, we wanted to give you something different this year something that would be fun for a long time. <clears throat> now turn around and look out the window. Gramps turned to look. There, attached to the sill, was a wide new shelf with a molding around its edge and on the shelf were all sorts of things that birds like to eat. Seeds and suet and dabs of peanut butter and bits of dry bread I made the feeding station, Johnny explained, and Luella got the supply of bird food for you, Gramps. Johnny held his breath as he saw a snowbird perch on the edge of the feeding station and then fearlessly peck at some seeds. Well, I'll be, Gramps said. Look at that. And then, with a red and gray flash of wings, another bird swooped down. What in the world kind of bird is that? asked Gramps. Ah, said Mother, that's where my present comes in. She reached under the boughs of the Christmas tree and pulled out a package that was hidden there. Merry Christmas, Grandpa! Gramps opened the package excitedly. There before him was a big book with beautiful colored pictures of hundreds of birds. Well, this is something, Gramps exclaimed, turning the pages. I never knew there were so many birds. Sometime later, Gramps gave a shout. A pine grosbeak! That's what that red and gray bird was, a pine grosbeak! He grinned with pleasure at being such a good detective. He had forgotten all about his aching rheumatism. This is the best Christmas present I ever got, Gramps said. Of course, Johnny and Luella received presents that Christmas, too. But what they always remembered best was the gift of giving from their hearts. A gift for Gramps. I wish you well on your Christmas list. I'll see you tomorrow.